I am so happy to be shooting this video because this is just a clear confirmation that you watching me right now is about to receive your breakthrough. If you are that person, please go down in the comment section and write, I am next. And by the special grace of God, you would receive your breakthrough. And after watching this video, you would know the signs to look out for when your breakthrough has come. Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet. It's your girl Evelyn Ambrose recording from Abuja in Nigeria. If you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I want to specially use this opportunity to thank 50,000 plus subscribers I have on this channel. It can only be God and I know that these messages are impacting a lot in you and that is why you are here with me. And I thank God and I ask God for the grace to keep putting out content that would benefit you, my subscribers. I have been meaning to do this video for a very long time. And that is because something happened to me recently. And I can only say thank you, God. Now, before that thing happened to me, I got a lot of signs. But the truth is, if you're not strong in spirit, you won't be able to welcome that breakthrough into your life. The devil will use everything he has to stop you from knowing these signs. And my spirit has been moved to talk to you all about this because I don't want you to be left behind. I want you to grab your breakthrough with full force. Nothing is going to stop us this year. We are children of God and so we shall get our inheritance at the due time. So today I want to share with you the signs that you need to be aware of. Signs that shows you that your breakthrough has come. That your breakthrough is near. Before we get into the video, let us understand what a breakthrough means. A breakthrough is when a barrier limiting you from the next level of your life is lifted. I experienced this again last year and the truth is i knew what was happening and that was why i positioned myself so let's get into the video the first sign i noticed was that i had this urge to pray i unknowingly became restless like any small opportunity i had i always wanted to pray in short that was a period where i embarked on a 30 day prayer and fasting the truth is i had no idea why i was fasting but all i did was to pin a particular prayer point to so that's my prayer and fasting there was no reason for me to fast but my spirit made me fast i found myself fasting and i did that with the intention that you know what lord anything you say i should do i will do it so now you want me to fast I am fasting. Whatever it is, I know it's to the glory of your name. And that was it. I fasted. Now, I must warn you that before you get to see these signs, then your spirit needs to be aligned with the Holy Spirit. You need to have started seeking God before now. Okay? That's the only way God will reveal these signs to you. So that is sign number one. You become restless. You want to pray. Any small opportunity you have, you want to pray. Now, what is sign number two? For me, my sign was that I became extremely generous. That is, even when I had little with me, I was ready to let go of it. I started giving out freely. Like, I became less attached to the things of the world. Trust me, when these things are happening to you, you don't know. Unless somebody tells you that these are the signs to look out for. My dear brothers and sisters, the devil will blind you from seeing the signs. And that is why I have been led to do this video for you. Now, sign number three, you become extremely joyful. At this point for me, I could just wake up by 12 a.m. not knowing why I'm waking up. But I begin to feel this inner joy, this inner peace. Just the feeling of being grateful. 
And what I did at that moment was I just started giving thanks to God. I started singing, you know, thanksgiving songs to God. I didn't pray. It wasn't like I was too serious. Mm -mm. I just found some wonderful thanksgiving songs and, you know, I put it on the playlist and I was singing along with it. Any small opportunity I have, if I'm not praying, then I'm thanking God. When you find yourself being extremely joyful, then that is the time that you should align yourself with the spirits. You should start worshiping God. Start thanking him for things that are yet to come. Because I mean, if someone tells you, I have a gift for you, you as a person, you become extremely excited even before the gift comes. So you feeling that excitement is because you know that there is a gift coming. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, then please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And that gift in this case is your breakthrough. I hope somebody is understanding where I'm going to. I hope I'm able to even explain these things because the way I am feeling, I don't know if I'm justifying the explanations. When you become joyful, you know what I want you to tell your guardian angels? That you have a confirmation that your answers have arrived. So therefore, you angel of God that has been assigned to me, please go and bring it. I am waiting for my answers. I am waiting for my breakthrough. Because that is just the confirmation you need. That excitement, that joy, any small thing, you're happy. That's your answer there. That's the confirmation that your breakthrough is here. And when you get it, then key into this. Just thank God. Thank God for everything that is coming. Just appreciate God at that point. Now, the fourth point is the part where I see a lot of Christians giving up. With this fourth point, if you are not lucky, you would miss your breakthrough. Let me tell you something. The devil is aware that you are about to receive your breakthrough. He knows that when you receive this breakthrough, then he has lost you. At this point, when your breakthrough is here, you begin to provoke the kingdom of darkness. They begin to afflict you with a lot of troubles, with a lot of worries. So many things begin to go wrong in your life. You are praying. But yet, you are not getting answers. That is what the devil wants. He's trying to distract you. He makes you feel like, ah, oh, you're just wasting your time. Oh. You're praying for nothing sick. But I'm telling you that the devil is a liar. And you need to overcome this. When times like this come, that afflictions begin to fall on you, that is a sign. And that is where a lot of us are right now. A lot of us have given up. A lot of us don't even want to pray because we're like, we're tired of praying. But I'm telling you that if only you can hang on just a little longer, just a little longer and keep praying and keep thanking God and keep worshiping God, just hang in there you would definitely get to the end of the tunnel. And they say that at the end of the tunnel, there is light. See, the devil will come with so many distractions. The devil will come with so many worries. And a Christian who is not strong will begin to focus on those worries. And the thing is, whatever you focus on expands. So when you keep focusing on the troubles, the worries, the lacks, then you are indirectly telling these troubles, come, I welcome you, come, come into my life. But I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to tolerate that. When those distractions come, it is time to kneel down and hammer more on that prayer. Get that prayer points you have asked God for. Hammer on it. Pray. Put your knees on the floor. Pray to God Almighty. He is the only one that can see you through. Hang in there a little longer. 
I want you all to receive your breakthroughs. And that is why I want you to be alert. You need to be alert to watch out for these signs. I don't even know if I'm communicating to someone out there. But I know that God will make you to find this video. And when you find this video, look out for these signs. Because your breakthrough is it's here. Your breakthrough has come. And you are next. Now, because you've stayed with me this long, I have a bonus sign that you should look out for. So this happened to me. And I know that at some point, somebody else can get this sign. So if it happens to you, then please don't joke with it. So at some point in time, I started getting notifications of um, self-development groups groups that help you to read more so they send books to you you try and read it just helps broaden your mind okay because when you read more you tend to assimilate a lot of new informations that can help you better yourself now it's not just the self-development books or you know any other books i'm also talking about the bible you begin to want to draw closer to god you begin to want to read the word of god because god's words are wisdom the reason why the eagerness to want to read more comes is because God wants you to position yourself for the next level. Trust me, when your breakthrough comes, you're not going to be at the same spots. You are definitely going to elevate. Now, what information, what knowledge do you have to take you to that next spot? That is why the eagerness to read more comes in. It's preparing you for your breakthrough. You understand where I'm going with this, right? See, the devil knows all this. And that is why a lot of people might not be privileged to see this video. But please, I'm begging you. If you get to find this video. And you know that this video resonated with you then do me a favor and share this video to as many people as you know. We need to bring them out of their bondage. Because if the devil keeps trapping you in that spot, you can never be alert to these signs. So yes, beautiful people, I hope that somebody really understood the message. And if you did, then please help me like this video. I need as many people as possible to like this video so that this video can be pushed out to a lot of other people. This message needs to be heard. And yes, if you enjoyed it and you've not subscribed, then I think this is the best time for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on a video like this. Okay, beautiful people, that's all I have for today. And until next time, this is Evening Ambu saying bye.